And if you're going, do you need a sweater? That's the question. Mm, good Hello. question. Well, it depends on when you're going and what your body temperature <laughs> runs because it is going to be much cooler tomorrow. 20 degrees cooler than today. Crisp air as well. So there's a lot changing in your forecast. But overall, a beautiful weekend for Juneteenth events and a beautiful Sunday on tap for Father's Day. Let's go ahead and give you a live look outside on this beautiful night. 78, mostly clear. We have northwest winds at 7. The wind have subsided a bit, but do anticipate tomorrow to be another breezy day. We're counting down to summer. It's four days away. Officially begins on Tuesday, but tomorrow feels more like early May. 68 degrees will be your Saturday high temperature. That's 12 degrees below the norm. But then by Sunday, we're up to 74. Monday, 79, which is essentially seasonable for this time of year. For your weekend, the forecast is dry Monday, too. I will say the exception is late Saturday night into early Sunday, the east end of Long Island might get a few showers. That's a possibility. But overall, the weekend looks phenomenal. Tuesday into Wednesday, the forecast becomes more unsettled with a better chance for showers and some storms. Humidity, my goodness, it was sticky this morning, but no longer. The dry air has fallen into place tomorrow, Sunday. The air should feel invigorating. By Monday into Tuesday, it's still comfortable. And then, you know, we'll ease back up into the sticky sector by midweek. As we look at the setup for today. What transpired? Well, first we had this front roll through this cold front earlier in the day. What it did was spark a few storms around the region and knocked out the humidity. But now we have the secondary front coming through and it's really behind this secondary cold front that the cooler Canadian air falls in. So we are looking at temperatures 20 degrees cooler tomorrow overnight into the morning. We will start to see those clouds return. Tomorrow will be a mixture of sunshine and clouds as we still get some wraparound energy energy from this exiting system. By evening tomorrow, we're going to start to see the clouds push to the east. And then early Sunday morning, here it is, that very slim chance for a shower out east. But on Sunday, during full daylight hours, we are talking about a whole lot of sunshine with maybe just a few more clouds for the Twin Forks. Tomorrow, 68 degrees. It's a total turnaround for us. Cooler, blustery. Winds are gusting to 30 tomorrow. Around the region, warm spots will be, well, not in many places. Tom's River, 71. Surely you may hit 70. A high of 55 degrees in Monticello tomorrow. So if you're heading to the mountains, it's mid and upper 50s. That's it for you for your Saturday with that mix of sun and clouds. For Father's Day, sunny, breezy, milder, and 74, still breezy. And for Juneteenth, observed 79 and increasing clouds late in the day. Now here's your extended forecast beyond this holiday weekend. Tuesday at 78 with a chance for wet weather, low to mid 80s, Wednesday into Thursday with higher humidity and storms possible. Dick and uh, Christine, back to you. Okay, Vanessa, thank you. Thanks, Vanessa.